All right, so today I am going to finish my backyard. I ripped out my backyard and I'm putting in artificial grass. But the reason why I wanted to do this, do this video is to show you guys a different way of tacking down your, your turf to the ground. Um, now, I've looked everywhere on the internet and there's uh, maybe few that, that I've seen where they're stapling the grass to, their, uh, to the border Everybody else, they're using like a, I don't know, three to four inch stakes, maybe six inches or so. And the reason why I chose not to go that route is because when I was at Home Depot a few months ago, they had some samples already in, on, in their curb, uh, in, in their parking lot. So when I was out there, I was actually surprised how durable it was, where if you were to grab a corner and pull it, you couldn't pull it. It was tacked down pretty solid. So I did some research as to how they got it um, tacked down so good, right? Um, because I've seen other artificial grass where you can just reach down and pick it up and, you know, there it is. And it kind of looks generic, honestly. Um, but uh, there's, a lot of, there's a lot out there that looks really good. But I wanted something that I felt a little more secured, um, especially when it comes to exposed areas. Uh, I think this process looks much better than using nails. So I want to show you guys what I'm doing here um, Just to give you a sample of what I'm where I'm at Let me change the camera here So you, if you can see this is where I've completed right here, and this is where I'm Continuing this uh, down this line here, but if you look over here You can see how the edge has a nice bevel has a nice curve uh, and, and I think that's a really nice finish because what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the bark and my material up to up to the grass here and, and just look at that. I think that just gives it a nice, much cleaner finish than a straight edge. Straight edge meaning this right here. You see the difference between this and if you go down here, there's a nice bevel here, right? So if you want to accomplish this, this is what you're gonna need. So, I couldn't find this at Home Depot, but Walmart carried, this is like an L shape, so this comes in like a 30 foot, this is a retainer here, it's a 30 foot, uh, like an L shape, then it comes up, okay. Uh, inside, there are places where uh, you can stake down this border here. So I put these section stakes about every foot. Um, then I brought a material, uh, gravel, sand, pack it all down, and if you look under here, it looks like putting green. So this is absolutely smooth and perfect. So that's the first step is make sure you get this plastic uh, retainer wall, uh, build it up, and take, tack it down, because then when you're ready to lay down the grass, you're going to lap this over, just like this, and you're going to staple it in here. So let me show you the process. So I've already cut this area here, ready to go. And by the way, um, what I'm using, I want to show you guys what I'm using here. So this is a just a DeWalt uh, 18 gauge, like a horseshoe sta shape staples. Uh, this is one inch. You can get anywhere from a quarter inch to inch and a half. So my staple gun here takes inch and a half. Um, I decided not to go with inch and a half and go with one inch. I thought the inch and a half was just a little too much because if you look at the material, um, I just need to go through this piece of plastic and my, my border in the ground, which is about a quarter inch. That leaves me another over half an inch of material um, to go all the way through. So I think one inch is plenty for this particular job. And let me show you the box here. The DeWalt 18 gauge, one inch, okay? Staples. So once, I, once you get your, your grass cut out, I like to work in small sections. Oh yeah, I also bought this. Um, I saw this in the tool section and I don't know what it's for, but I knew that this would come in handy to get my to just push away some rocks and dirt away from the border. Okay. So 
So just in that 12 inches there, I probably uh, put in a dozen staples. And look at that. I'm pulling right now, and the thing is pretty solid. I can't pull it apart. So, you know, it's very quick. Just like that. Wait for that compressor to shut off. Okay, here we go. So if you guys like this finish here, you guys may want to consider stapling uh, your grass to the border. Let me get you a closer look here. Yeah, I really like that, right? So that's what it's going to look like um, when, once it's all done. So let me show you guys another section I've already completed earlier. So here it is. It's just, you know, it's I didn't want it uh, perfectly round or square. I wanted it to look kind of natural, um, you know, natural patch. And again, where this border comes up, this the black piece of plastic that I was telling you about. Um, I lined that inside this concrete, my concrete slab here. So that plastic um, border goes all the way around. So I think this is going to look really good. Anyways, if you guys like this video or like this concept, give me a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Uh, once I'm all done, I will definitely fill this in with um, in, called infield to uh, keep the material down and also helps keep the, uh, the, um, the grass cool as well. So I know you hear a lot of comments about you know, how hot these things get. Yeah, it's a piece of plastic. So by putting in that infield, it really does help cool it down uh, based on research. So anyways, give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.